next artist, it just kind of feels like, well, not artist, our next guest, because she do manage artists, though. It kind of feels like a full circle situation because, like, I first met this young lady on Clubhouse, you know, which kind of took off during, like, the pandemic and stuff. And I remember she was a part of this group. She was a moderator. And the other moderators with her, BZ Wright, Javen, they've actually been on our show um, for our Slap It or Dap It back in 2020. And so she was going to come down, but she couldn't make it because she was out in a wonderful, amazing, great state of Texas. You know, but uh, now she is here in the A because she's really trying to take this management of artists to the next level. So, y'all, I want y'all to make some noise for Low Key. Hello. Hello. Nice to be here. Welcome in the flesh, girl. Yes. Nice to meet you in person, finally. I know. Hello. It's like, how long was y'all doing y'all clubhouse? For a minute, yeah. Low Key. Oh, she like, felt like, put your name in there. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 low key. yeah, it felt like, what, about a good... Three months, a good yeah, three months. Yeah, you had a, a big following. Yeah, it was it was lit for sure. Great networking. And so I remember at that time, one of the main things you, at the time was your do rags, and that's the key rags. Yes, key rags. So what what's the what's the update on those do rags? So the update right now, um, I am actually uh, rebranding because I will be doing all custom orders. Hey, custom, yeah, your face that's on how you there. Do it. I like that. Face. Artists, you want your mixtape albums on there? I haven't even seen that on the rag before. Yeah, yeah. I Dope. actually made one for Rich Homie Corn, so. Oh, hey, snap, hey, how did they go? It, it went well, because he came to Dallas and I got to meet him and everything. So, yeah, actually, his manager is also my mentor, so that's another reason about him. That's right. Good yeah. job! That's right, too. Yeah. We're East Atlanta, nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, from East Atlanta? Rich Homie, yeah. nigga. Oh, I thought yeah, you were her mentor now. I'm sorry, I was confused. Okay, so, okay, and so, like I said, another thing I know you were doing was your management, and you had, you brought all your artists to the show. Yes. 318, baby. I remember her because she had, she, I thought she was from Dallas. The way she talked, she had that Dallas, Texas yeah. talk, but I think you said she was from Louisiana, yes. and I remember loving her vibe. I said yeah. she done blew up. Yeah. Following up. views, like, sis show. is, like, up, yeah. and you managed her. Yeah. I'm manager 318 Baby right now, Trey Deuce, he's from Fort Worth, and then I have Pappy Dunn, who's also out of Fort Worth, and then my producer, Corio, he's out of East Texas, we both from East Texas. Shout out to this, what, what, yeah. you from East Texas? What part yeah, of East I'm, I'm from Corsicana. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, so so I, I'm from Dallas, uh -huh. right, but you know, I went to high school in Lancaster, oh, okay. and one of my childhood high school was, of course, the Canada, yeah. but I'm sure, you know, she, she about the same age as me, and I feel like you younger, low-key, you in your 20s. Yeah, I'm 24. <laughs> no, how old are you? 24. Oh, come on, 24. Hey, man. I'm so jealous. But anyway, 10 years later. But, um, okay, so out of course, again, so how did you even get into managing artists, yo? Like, where your background in that? Well, I really started off doing parties first, just promoting and everything. Where? Uh, first I was promoting out in, um, I was in Saginaw, then I moved to Ulysses, H-E-B area. Yes, they don't know about that, but I know you're that grocery store. Oh, no, it's oh, a grocery store. But it's that's your area, too. It's definitely your area. It's mostly the But, yeah, area. um, <laughs> I was out there a little bit in Dallas, Arlington. Arlington was, yes. like, my big, big market. So, I got that on lock for sure. <laughs> um, East Texas, for sure. Um, I would say the reason I really just got into it, I got a passion for music, but you know, I have partners, I got people that are, are close to me that are in the music industry, so why not push their music and we all making money together, you know what I'm saying? So, started there with the promoting, then I just picked up artists, started managing them, and went there. Picking up, dropping off, picking up, dropping off. You know? what, and when you say drop off, like you manage it for a little bit, then? It depends on, so when I'm meeting with an artist, we already going to see the length of, you know, what I can offer you, what you can offer me, okay. and what we can do together. So, you know, we ain't wasting each other's time. Because if it's something I can't do, I'm not going to waste your time. That part. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you bring that to Atlanta. Yeah, they going to try to waste your time here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You already know that for now, sure. huh? Yeah, I done, I done been to a few uh, events. Um, some people had out here, got a little feel for everything. How but, long have um, you been out here? I've only been out here for like a month. And it don't take long. Yeah, but it don't take long to get that, that you oh, found yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's, it's different out here for sure. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's different. So what does it take to, to manage an artist? Yeah. To manage an artist, my main thing is no liabilities. Like, I, I need to be able to send you somewhere and not have a worry in the world. Yo, homeboy finna try to fight, break, you know, just... 
doing doing too much. You, it's a time and a place for everything. And with this generation, it's it's kind of hard to really just. The nonsense. Get a real girl. It's, it's nope. really hard to deal with. I, I don't really want to just do Not too much, but it's really no, hard to deal, yeah. deal with all these niggas out here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> talk about it. Because it's, it's really <laughs> foolishness. Like, we, there we, we go. Grown. Yes, we talk grown. about the foolishness. We grown. And it don't even right. just pertain to the music. It just pertains to the business overall. Mm -hmm. Business first at the end of the Let day. So I've been trying to really just push the separating the business with the personal because these artists meet me and they think I'm going to be their partner. We're not doing that. That's at the end yeah. of the day. That's just like a parent trying to raise their kid as their friend. We're not doing that. We're going straight know. to the business. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's such an old soul. Because uh, you got to be gangster in this industry. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's your female too. Yeah. yeah. And then also, you know, just being a female with this music industry, everybody tried to play me a little too close. You know what I'm saying? Thinking yeah. it's sweet. I done had plenty of men turn down money just because I'm not trying to do other things. You know what I'm saying? Damn. That's, that's, that's crazy. You fumb silly. Really fumbling the bag. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for real. So, yeah. Um, can't have be a liability. I don't mind working with artists that do have kids, but it's really a, it's a minimum with me. If you got more than three Really, oh, what if it's you know what I'm like saying? A, what like, if it's controlled, like the baby mama's in jail, but everybody like got co parents. It's and never, it's people always want to say it's controlled, it's never controlled. Because at the end of the day, like, okay, for instance, you're yeah. dealing, at the end of the day, you know what kind of person you're going to be dealing with, you know what their life is going to involve. So, why get mad at the little things that's going to hinder their career? Yeah. As far okay. as having others in videos, having females in videos and stuff like that. Oh. I run into a lot of those type of problems. At the end of the day, if you're not making sure your family is secure, we can't be working. Yeah. You don't need her feeling like we got something going on. You oh, know right. Saying? Yeah. I've had them, I've had them conversations. Like, empire. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are, you just got to know. You just, you just got to be with it. Be ready to go. Mm -hmm. I've been wondering, like, what's the life of the day in the life? Like, what does that consist of exactly? Like, what is all your actual responsibilities? Everything. It's like being a mom, a counselor, mm. shoot, the engineer. I know a little bit of, with the recording and everything. Um, it's literally everything. I'm I'm one call away. It don't matter what time they call me, I'm going to answer. It's so, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. We got bookings. We got their schedules. We got interviews. We got their, you know, studio time. Yes. My, um, I only have one artist that has a, a, another manager. She really covers most of the marketing as far as pushing. I've had that part. And everything because I, I need a... I need a little less slack off of me, so I, I can would think, yeah. go do something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I'm more, of, I'm more of on the creative director side as far as putting the visuals together, doing the treatments, um, the traveling, putting that together. Because I got my own travel agent on our team, so we ain't got to worry about you know as far as cutting. I'm just trying to keep the cost low so we can put this money into something else. Yes, the music industry is very expensive. Yes, at the end of the day, so it's just trying to keep everything rolling in the most. Okay. And you all with independent these are all independent artists yes, right, now. Right, now. right now. Nobody's right now. What's what's the what's the what's the goal though? Yeah. The goal really honestly, I'm not we really not worried about getting signed. We're building our own empire. Um my goal is really to show artists you really don't need these labels. Need Let's yes. be honest. Let's be real. Yes. We anybody could go pay for bots, anybody could go buy some followers, anybody can go buy some likes. But at the end of the day, we trying to build our longevity for our families. Yes. So I'm not worried about all the other stuff. I hope. Definitely. She ain't worried about all the other stuff. <laughs> and so, like, with your artists, like, what are you list? Like, what are you? What type of artists you prefer to work with? Like, what are you looking for? Um, I mean, it's not always honestly about what just I like, cause I don't like what everybody else like. Everybody okay. don't like what I like. Yeah. But as long as it's marketable, it ain't no jibber jabber. <laughs> um. Jibber jabber. <laughs> yeah, literally, because they sing in. I'd rather listen to ABCs than what these artists are So, I, about. so and with the pause, so like, <laughs> name an artist you feel like lyrically, like you, you fuck with, you like that, them. Just so I can know Richard, what you like. Rich Homie, what you mean? That's okay. So that's, that's, so that's, okay. Rich Homie. You wouldn't dare say who does jibber jabber, in your opinion. You wouldn't name that artist. I don't. Ooh, I already do jibber jabber. But you, you, you like, <laughs> can't fuck with that. Who? <laughs> what what <laughs> is that? <laughs> I mean, shit, I'll name Uzi. Who? That's a jibber jabber. Uzi Bird? You feel yeah, like it? He's trying. Yeah, he's what? Is it because you can't understand what he's saying or like what you mean? If I can't understand it, that's oh, a jibber jabber. Oh, I mean, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this. Right, I like this. Yeah, he's um, terrible. I can't so name a boy song. Yeah, 
You know, I don't understand what some stuff he say, but I love him. Ooh. Cody. Oh, I love Cody. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's saying sometimes, but I love it. I love it. Yeah, Florida. I love it. Like, definitely. He's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hate yeah. him. He like logic. He don't like Cody, though. <laughs> I don't really know. She raised it. Who's logic? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know he's grad to go Jack through. Jack Hollow this nigga favorite. <laughs> but, uh, but no, so his, uh, you've migrated from Texas to Atlanta, to Georgia, to Atlanta. Yeah. Why the transition? Um, I feel like I'm going to need everything I could do back at home. So now I'm really just trying to grasp other attention so I can do what I need to do. I'm trying to take care of home. I'm trying to put this nursing home in my City in oh, um, so, okay. Yeah. Well, now we're pause on that. But what, what's the reason for wanting to do that? Well, I also uh, got my medical assistant certification as well. Um, okay, low key. I love, I just love working with the elderly. Like, yeah, we, you know, everybody, somebody that's gonna be here for these kids. Old, so that's you know what I'm saying? Good. Like, everybody gonna be here for these kids, but who gonna be here for the elderly? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, healthcare, caregiving is, it's a problem right yes. now. So we need to go on and change that for sure. I love that. So you, that's something you want to do within with your money that you're raising to help build it. Build yeah, that I'm up. about to take care of my city for sure. We, we coming back. We black. Come on, back. come on, we baby. Yeah, it's really white and black down there, so I'm trying to go to break. They're very for much sure. so. It yeah, is. yeah. That's yeah. one of the things like from Dallas. Like I think Dallas is definitely amazing. They know I talk about Dallas all damn day long. I love my city, born and raised. But I did feel like I came to Atlanta because I felt like it was more opportunities for media entertainment for people of color right. here. I feel like Dallas was still very white. You know, but I think that it's changing. And for where I did not, for me, I didn't step in the party. It was very, to me, white. Or you had the gangsters. They was the white or the yeah, gangsters. Yeah, literally. It's what side. You, you I'm like, y'all shoot too much over here in Funky Town. So, but I felt like, but now I feel like it's changing there, you know? So, but I do feel like Atlanta, so shout out to you. It's propelled my career and my life in a lot of positive ways, and I definitely hope that for you. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited. I mean, you made the jump. I think that's what um, some people miss out on is the opportunity. So, to leave your home and to start somewhere over in a completely different place that you're not familiar with is... Um, what's the word I'm looking yeah, for? Yeah, there's so many words to go with that. No, but I'm looking for something specific. It <clears throat> it's a motivating factor because you don't want to come here and fail. Like we have a fear of going back home and having to say over and over, "Damn, yes. you back?" Yeah. And I said, "Boy, I'm not like, like, here." So, that. so <laughs> yeah. right. you find a way, and I think that's the thing about being in Atlanta and being a transplant, like all of us, minus yeah. these couple, like yeah. none of us is from the state of Georgia. Nope. And so to come hey, here, from Kansas City, Missouri, <laughs> and and to come here and to to find opportunity, it's like you always on the hunt. You always on the hunt. And then you meet people. Like I met Randy in college yes. in Oklahoma. Hell yeah. And then, you know, we here and then now I met everybody else through mm -hmm. working in radio. Like and it just continues to grow. But you have that hunger inside of you and you just kinda go after everything. So you, you can't fail. You're not gonna fail. There Hell, you you're are. already here. I feel fake. So shit, make it happen. Yeah. It's gonna happen. I'm the Right. So that kind of goes into your upcoming projects, yes. you know. Before I go to read, did you want to add something? I was like, you've only been here for a month, and you're already moving the people that've yes. been here, that's been living here, and it's like, yeah. So me, keep it up. you're on fire. Yeah. 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 Okay, let me, let me stop. Yeah, yeah. Don't lose that momentum. Like, what keeps that momentum on fire is surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. So keep yeah. going. Respect. Appreciate that for sure. And so, what's your upcoming projects? And you got a couple things here. So let's first talk about this artist collab project. Um, yes, yeah, so right now, um, my producer, we just dropped a Lightweight 2 project with a few of local artists from the DFW area and a few from East Texas. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to shoot all the videos, I want to say it's 20, 20 21 songs um, on there. So we're going to okay. shoot those videos, uh, push them out these next uh, three months to get them out the way. Um, <clears throat> I've been uh, communicating with Spring Urban Fest. They do a few shows out here. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to be doing some working as well, help them put some stuff together. Um, I also have my Key Fashion Show Part 2. I'm planning to do out here as well. Okay, yeah, so, fashion show with yes, the kid with the new rag, yes, customized. So I've just been looking at a little different venues and everything. Still trying to learn this area, you yes. know. 
Slim is really big. Mm. Well, now, look, you're tapped in. Out. It's like, huge. We, gonna have, we, we got you. We've been was, here for a minute now. We got you. Oh, God. For sure, for sure. What part um, of town are you in? Just out of curiosity. Uh, Decatur, Stone Oh, Decatur, where's the greater? That's where I started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, and so we got the fashion show, and then this the TV series. Yes, so um, Flow Key TV series will be airing um, May 1st. We'll be going live oh, so. uh, through the Roku channel. So Varsity oh. BPM TV Network, uh, my business partner, Nice, she actually hit me up. I didn't even know she was going to involve me with the TV Network. She's hit me up, hey, I want you to do your producer stuff, be producing for the TV Network itself, then I'll be able to put my TV series on there. Which is, which um, is So it's called Flow Key TV Series. Yeah. So if everybody remember all that and in Living uh -huh. Color, right? Okay, so sketch. I'm basically about to just go and kind of bring that back with my own little taste. Yeah, uh, sketch comedy. Yeah, it's going to be a women empowerment segment, um, a relationship series as well. And then I have one that's just like, it's called Real. So it's everything. You're going straight into everything. So oh, right. I'm, I'm a little bit on the mental health, but just real. All across the board. Yes. Wrong, I'm, I'm so, kind of funny. Yeah. So he said book him for the network. Uh, yes, I am looking for writers. I, I really suck at punctuation. I'd rather talk. <laughs> Grammar than yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. What, what's your sign? I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm a cancer. Okay. My birthday, June 26th, by the way. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let, 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 let them know. Plays. All the plays. Let them know. Let <laughs> Yes. Okay, so so we got we got the artist collab tunnel, we got the varsity BPM TV networks, we see the Flow Key TV series, mm -hmm. May the first, Key Rack Fashion Show. When are we gonna? We got a date yet? We're, uh, we're, no, our time frame we're shooting September October. Okay, so a fall fashion show, yeah. really do rag game. Yeah. Okay, I, I you got I'm proud. You already here and moving things so bad. Twenty five. That's, 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 that's so for the years up. So like, what would be like your top milestone that you want to accomplish before 2022 ends? Ooh, I really, I'm I'm trying to move into the high fashion Tiana Taylor, Lady Gaga vibe. So I'm really trying yes. to find somebody that's gonna put me into something like that. Oh, what, you, what do you want to do with that? Is I'm, that I'm trying to go. I want to be the the hardest creative out here. Like, yes. That's it. That's all I'm aiming for. You seen Cruella, didn't you? It motivated mm. you. I have not. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I do love that. That's, that's a good vibe. That's actually a really good. Cruella so Deville movie. So it's the Cruella Deville like origin story on Disney Plus. Okay. Cold. It's actually okay. really good. It's, it's not a cartoon version, okay. it, but it's it's uh it's it's actually a good little influential mm -hmm. movie. Okay. But tell us also, if we want to stay plugged in and what your artists, their stuff, what they got things going on, like plugging all your things that's going on. Yes, follow me on Instagram, underscore low key, two X. You're going to find all my artists in my bio. Um, the, you can also submit uh, if you want to be a film person for us on our film crew. You can click the link oh, in my okay. bio. Um, I also yes. got a, a Voyage ATO uh, article out right now. Already yeah. after one yes. month of being yes. here, girl? Yes. I am not fucking mad. Yes. Yeah, just stay tuned. I got a lot coming up, man. For sure. I love it. Low What's key. the Instagram again? Low key underscore low. L-O-W-K-E-E-Y. And then two and X. And even though, of course, I have your government name, but but low key because yeah. you're just so chill with it and shit. Very out the way. Oh, okay, I, well, you better get in the way. That last week's see your ass. Get in the way. Yeah. I gotta come out of that though, for sure. Yes, Miss Cancer, get out that shell and get yeah. in that way. Is this aggression? Keep that. I feel like for Atlanta, you gotta have that hustle. Your network is your net worth. Okay, mm -hmm. so like getting to know these people, making these moves, and I'm glad you kind of get an idea of that level of discernment. Mm -hmm. Who's for you know who's that Thanks. bullshit? And who's like let's see what it is, but. I love it. If there's any way that black educated and broke, because you know, girl, you know we got our stop and adapt this yes, segment. Uh, so we need these artists, bring them I back them. Yeah. so we can slap it or adapt it. But I, I did love 318, baby. She was one of she was one of my favorites. Slap yeah. or adapt it artists. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So, so shout out to that queen. So I'm um, so as make sure you plug her on social media. Yes. We don't have a website, just this the social uh, official key rags for the do rags. Official P Rex in your bio. I see it right here. Mm -hmm. right. And like the tap in, you're trying to get some management, but like she said, shame with that BS. <laughs> so don't be wasting no time. That jibber jabber. Have your life in order. No more than three kids. Don't hit that me. Up. Up. <laughs> Consistency. Period. All right. So we thank you for being on the show. Definitely, guys. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Take a break. When we get back, we'll keep you updated with notices for what's going on on next week. So come back right here on Black. Educated and brown.